Namaste beautiful souls. We are doing a check-in on the Divine Masculine. Let's clear our space. Closing your eyes. Take a deep inhale. Breathing in the breath of God. Dropping in your heart space. Calling forward your ancestors, your spirit guides, and angels. Exhale and keep inhaling through your nose. Releasing what no longer serves you through your lips. Welcoming the Holy Spirit to purify your body, mind, and soul. To embody you. To walk before you. Welcoming Saint Germain and the Violet Flame to cleanse out your aura. Transmuting anything to love and light. Invoking Archangel Raphael for any healing you may need at this time. Doing a light body scan. Breathing into any energies that need care at this time. Evoking Archangel Michael, shielding, clearing us, putting us in a pillar of the light of God. Evoking Archangel Gabriel, allowing you to speak your truth, hear your truth, walk your truth. Evoking Archangel Uriel, commanding forth your divine light, casting out shadows, energies, lower energies, demonic spells, transmuting it to the light of God. Evoking Archangel Sandalfin, grounding us to Mother Earth. Archangel Metatron brings us the God self, the Christ Buddha consciousness. By the authority of Jesus Christ, anything not of light must be casted out. website iamlifecoaching.com please be aware of anyone posing at me that is not me i would never reach out to asking you for money i'm available for angel love readings clearings um i will be back available at quest on fridays by appointment only and that's it let us begin i am feeling still short of breath exhausted tapping into this masculine energy really the mind is a little cloudy this masculine is spending a little so too much time in their headspace, not dropping into their heart. I am seeing and hearing this masculine is in spiritual jail at this time. They need to connect back to God, to the light of God. So some of these masculines have lost their guides because their energy was so low. The things that they were doing were not encompassing the light of God. All right, let's see, Holy Spirit. The masculine is burned out, exhausted, restless, not sleeping, overthinking. They are coming from spiritual poverty. So if the masculine is feeling very alone right now, they are not in their light. They are coming from fear. The shadow does not have power over us. The shadow can only give us fear or temptation. So right now, I feel that they were being tempted now they're in a place of fear masculine still trying to control still trying to dominate for some this masculine is still overindulging could be with addictions could be with a third party situation adultery with the three of cups they're feeling very stuck they're needing to let go of any third parties, let go of anything that is not of your highest light and surrender. I feel this masculine is still holding on to his queen of pentacles. I see this masculine, he took her kindness for granted. He didn't know who she was. He didn't know um, all the gifts that she held. He didn't know that she was the blessing, that she was the anointed one here to help this masculine. Energy is fluid, so please take how it resonates. If it's feminine masculine energy, it's, it's just energy. It's just the way I channel. Still condescending, patronizing. So right now, this masculine could have lost friends could be arguing with family. I'm seeing this masculine in a five of wands still fighting with those around him. He's needing to do the groundwork, needing to let go of that lower energy detachments. Just emotionally aloof. In Hermit, he's isolated himself. 
still indecisive of how to come back and still stalking the feminine on social media or in the 5D. What's challenging the masculine right now is wanting communication, jealousy. Some of the masculines have are jealous at the feminine because while the masculine was out running around not awakening on their journey, the feminines were awakening. They embodied all their gifts. They were working on themselves, doing their shadow work every day, doing the inner child healing, ancestral wounds, excuse me, a lot of past life, um, letting go of fear, Holy Spirit. So this masculine is being offered a new solid beginning, and this is the hand of God. What I'm hearing is the masculine needs to go to God and talk to God about how to. I feel like this masculine is very stuck, doesn't know how to get themselves out of it. Holy Spirit, why is the Ace of Pentacles here? They're very conflicted as to how to return, but they are wanting to take action very quickly. There's a lot of passion here. They're feeling very nostalgic. They want to come forward with a gift to the feminine. This feminine makes them feel very um, childlike. It brings out the purity of their innocence. I feel like for some, these masculines do look up to the feminine as a teacher, teacher as a mentor. I'm hearing this masculine had has a great deal of remorse of what he did to this feminine. There's a bunch of bottles here. This, some of these masculines were trying to do something to the feminine, to the empress. And this empress is, she's in her light. You can see the light here. She is just doing her moving forward she's at peace she's moved on she's rebirthed herself finally in a good place thank you angels why is the six of cups here holy spirit so the masculine still holding on either obsessively there's still a lot of passion a lot of desire some of the masculines are going through a major transformation. They are burning, rising from the ashes, being rebirthed, reborn like the phoenix. And some of them are doing this because they want to unite with the feminine. So if they can go through the transformation, this cycle will complete and they will be able to rebirth to then have a decision to make as to how to return to the feminine. <clears throat> Thank you, angels. It's too many, but... So... The masculine is working, wanting a new passionate beginning. But still, with this King of Cups energy, it's he has not mastered his emotions. So he could still be angry or a lot of jealousy towards the feminine. It's almost like he's not budging. He's wanting to take very swift action towards the feminine. He wants to restore balance. He sees the feminine as his balance, his light, infinite love, He's just unsure if the feminine is going to take this love offer. There's a great deal of passion that this masculine has. Whoa. Holy mackerel. 
So the mask is still a little guarded. There's still people around the mask gun who are not of his highest vibration. Some of the mask guns are still listening to this energy. The mask gun, some of these mask guns are praying, they're meditating for clarity to balance, to restore balance, to make a choice. I feel that they're just really haunted still by the memory of the feminine. They see her everywhere. See how she is the same, like in all, all of these coffins. So some of these masculines may be dreaming with the death here that she's moved on. They are getting like wisdom with, with the owl here, but there's still secrets that they're withholding from this feminine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Why is it that card here? They view the feminine as glowing up, as being very secure. Some of these masculines are not taking action, they're just daydreaming. Like she is the wish fulfillment and they're just sitting back daydreaming, so they're not taking action. Holy Spirit. They want to come in and offer this cup of love. Because she is the high priestess. They are also, for some, the closer they get to God, the closer they embody the Holy Spirit, their third eye is opening. I just heard, I'm starting to see things I didn't see before. They're receiving clarity. They know that they have to come forward in their truth. This came in upside down. And it's still upside down. So the masculine isn't able to make a choice. That was the fool card that came reversed two times. As much as they want that new beginning, some of them feel really foolish about coming in with that new beginning. This emperor isn't going anywhere. This emperor is making a stand. This isn't a masculine in their full emperor energy. Thank you, angels. <clears throat> Where's the Knight of Swords here? Oops. Where's the Knight of Swords here? Sorry, Eight of Wands. Oh, this Knight of Swords wants to take quick action to move towards for communication. Why is the Knight of Swords here? This masculine feels very lonely, very bored, very detached, wanting to come towards the feminine because he loves her. I just heard this time I want to choose you. The feminine is very healing to this masculine and with the yellow hair, <clears throat> the masculine was needing to stand in their divine power to set very healthy boundaries around love. Nice tumpins. He wants to come forward to work with the feminine, to collaborate with the feminine. She is the shining star. He's wanting to restore balance. A 
I'm hearing some of the masculines are still intimidated by her. They don't know if she's going to take this offer of love. And they're still feeling stuck. They want the four of wands, which is the twin flame. <clears throat> commitment, a higher commitment for some marriage. They're just feeling very defeated, exhausted. For some, they don't even know how to get out of this third party situation. They don't know how to fix what they, I'm hearing, Fix the havoc that they cause with the feminine. Holy Spirit. There's still, there's a lot of regret from the past. So God's giving them a new beginning here and they're still focused on the past. There's two cups of love, which is, oh, I thought we had a two cups. There's two cups here behind them that the masculine is not even seeing. What's challenging him still is, with the king of pentacles here, that is somebody who is very stable, very slow, but also very stubborn. And this masculine, to return to the frequency, the vibration of the divine feminine, they have to go into the light. They're still a little guarded with the pentacle. So some of them not wanting to fully release their abundance, not wanting to fully, for some of these masculines feel very betrayed not only by the feminine, but by the people around them. And some of them still needing to release this Queen of Swords. It's like they're, they're binded together. I feel that the remorse is that the masculine chose out of temptation, out of lust over their heart. Yeah, so the Five of Cups here, they have so much remorse, regret. And they are understanding why the feminine walked away. So maybe before they were blaming the feminine, they know, they're understanding that the feminine had to walk away. All right, let's see what else. Any other? Whisper. So... The masculine is needing to close out with the coffin here. They need to end a cycle. They need to put something to an end. So if some of them are still in a third party situation, that needs to end. Any low vibrations, toxic people, anything that is not of their highest vibration, serving their higher self needs to end for them to be at peace with the light, not just with themselves, but be at peace with the divine feminine. They're coming from a poverty consciousness mind that they can't do it, that they're unable to close out. They, I, I just hear, I can't do it. I don't know how, I don't know how to fix this. Still needing to heal their inner child. And when you heal the inner child, that's what automatically connects you back to God, to light. I feel like this masculine does not feel safe in their home right now. And with the official person here, this masculine has not really been official to themselves or to the divine feminine. They've been very guarded, lying, betrays. I'm hearing for some, they want to make this official. For some, there could be a love offer, a marriage proposal, I mean. Yeah, they just don't know how to come towards the feminine. And for some, they could be a wealthy man, but they are spiritually poor. They're spiritual um, poverty consciousness. So... 
this masculine chose 3D abundance over spiritual abundance, about abundance from within. This feminine is a wish fulfillment, but it came in reverse. So they just don't know how to move towards. And I'm hearing for some, they're still overindulging. They know that the feminine is the path home. Some of them are having issues at home with family, with friends. And they just, they're exhausted. They want to come forward with a love offer, but they're too exhausted. They don't know how. Wanting to communicate, but communication came in reverse, either with a text or email, phone call. They view the feminine as the privileged lady, but they are mature man in reverse. They are not coming in as the awakened masculine, as even the divine masculine rising. And again, the inner child is in reverse. So child represents either they were emotionally being childish with their feelings, with their emotions. They didn't tell the feminine how they truly felt. Children are either involved. For some, this, this masculine could have had a child that the feminine didn't know about with the baby here. And a child also represents a new beginning. All right. Messages. I need to fix myself. So with the Pinocchio here, some of the masculines were lying. I'm an empty soul without you. I'm tired of being alone. I want you back in my life. I text and erase, I text and erase. So they don't know how to come forward with this communication. Thank you, angels. Holy Spirit. This is Twin Flame Messages by Mystic Moon. You are irreplaceable. I wish I had told you how much you really meant to me. So this masculine kept his feelings um, hidden. I feel too much pressure right now. So some still having something going on in their family life, some with their children, some with this new baby. Some are still binded to a karmic, a third party. And some are still dating. I'm comparing others to you. So for some I'm hearing this masculine is still trying to date and replace the feminine. And some of the masculines are not doing well. My candle is like drowning right now. So they're drowning in emotions and fear is what I'm hearing. Sorry, turn my candle back on. All right, any other guidance, Holy Spirit? I forgot to do intentions. So this masculine is envious. I feel like for some, they're thinking that the feminine is dating. You haunt my darkness every night. They don't know what to say. They have so many regrets and disappointments. They're working on getting you out of their head. I think it's time to walk away. I seek attention from other women because I'm lonely and unsure of love. 
giving up was easier than enduring the pain. I feel mad with thoughts of just wanting to kiss you. So this masculine is like up and down. One day they want to walk away. The next day they want to come back. This masculine was seeking self-validation with other women, with other people. Still very haunted. There's a lot of regret and disappointment. So they gave up. It's like they think it's easier just to get, to try to get the feminine out of their head, but it's not. Um, what I'm hearing, God is just going to keep haunting the masculine until he talks to God. This masculine now has unfinished business with God of what transpired, what he did to the feminine. He needs to talk to God. What are the intentions for this masculine? Ten of Cups, he wants to return. He views the feminine as his happy ever after. With the rainbow here, miracle, love, marriage, kids. But with the Four of Wands came here and upside down, this is not being able. For some of these masculines, they have, they struggle with intimacy. They struggle with intimacy of the heart it's easy for them to have flings over long-term relationships and for some of these masculines really struggle struggling with the um with marriage with what marriage means the sanctity of marriage thank you angels he sees the feminine always and I feel like for some of the masculines if they're understanding the journey the feminine is a reflection of him so if he's missing the feminine he's seeking the feminine in the 3d he's in separation with mind and heart he's in separation with God because he's seeking the feminine from outside the feminine is already with him in the light of God, in the higher realms. So to connect to the feminine, he has to go up to God, find his light, find his divinity, his grace. So that's all I have. I am sending you guys so much love and light. If you want to book a reading, um, I am available. I've been doing a lot of clearings and healings. Um, there's been a lot of spiritual attacks. So I have been clearing the feminine's. Um, please, everyone, protect your energy. There are energies. The more you stand in your light, the more you're going towards that ego death, the dark night of the soul. Um, there are more attacks. So clear your energy, pull your energy back, cut cords, um, protect your energy at all costs. I'm sending you guys so much love. Namaste, everyone.